everybody, gonna take a tour today of my Grand Sigic Villa um, that is in progress. Uh, so Grand, uh, the Grand Sigic Villa uh, is located here in Arteum. Okay, so here's the Grand Sigic Villa. I'll put some links into the lore. I'm learning this stuff as I go. I'm new to the game, so um, you know, I don't pretend to know all the lore. It's fun to learn and go research why, um, why a particular, uh, house is and the lore it is. But right now I'm interested in essential, or uh, interested in housing. So, um, this was a free house during the summer event. So I have, um, it's huge. Okay, so when I undo this all or clean it up for my next build, I'll do a, a a video of it empty. Right now I've got this all blocked off. I don't like that you can see it. I'll have to to do that. I might do some essential housing tool effects. But what I was doing when I was uh, creating this house was one just, you know, it was some of my first custom builds after my Matheson, <coughs> excuse me, my Matheson Manor house that I built. Isn't that cool? Look at that. This is all custom. Right. If you're if you're when you're not here, I built everything. There's no special effects right now. I haven't added anything, but um, I thought it was really cool. I'm th probably going to keep this part. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, and I'll walk through here in a second. It's a kind of an inspired, if, you know, if you lived by the beach, by the you know, so, so there's such great waterfalls in this location. I took advantage of them. There's a slaughter fish all over the water, but I spent like, I must have fallen in 20, 30, 40 times, I don't know, um, uh, making sure I knew where the the fish were. This is just real pretty. You have an upstairs area here that's a kitchen. A Merkmeyer outdoor oven. trying out different things. I found out what I like. You can use these flat coral reefs. That's what I've used for the shelves. Um, here, let me go down here. Uh, to make it um, the, the different levels I am. They're, they're the flat coral reefs. You just turn them over. Um, we'll go over there in a second. That's the, the pool. Uh, not that the whole place is in a pool, but that is. So you come up here. You got a couple ways to go around. I'll come back for that. We're going to Gonna take the secondary way here, outdoor pit to hang out. And then you've got a your one of your bedrooms. I really like how this turned out. I built the uh, the whole thing with the flat coral reef shells, and then. You can go down here and you've got your own hot tub. There's no slaughter fish there that are going to kill you. So you have your own hot tub. Still got little touches to build, but um, there's a lot of this I really like. You come up here, another bedroom, outdoor. You, you got to do some laundry. It's a little Nord area for that special Nord in your life. Use a orcish uh, orcish tent, then come over here. And I was taking advantage of this really great view. I mean, look at that! Now I have not finished decorating this little house because I'm gonna. Um, I need some more slots and. And so forth, but I'll show you what I'm working on. Houses in progress are always good too. You can see I've got this up there, upstairs area. Building a little outdoor bedroom. I will uh, change this around when I um, put the effects in. Working on a bathtub here. 
course you gotta have a little toilet. Great view. You know, for your high elf that likes to be on the beach. So, you know, I mean, goodness, look at that. Who wouldn't want to have this place? <laughs> All right, we're going to come down and come around here. We're going to go across to the... Um, the area over here. This is your swim. Get down in here and swim across. Little dressing area. I think I was working on this. There'll be a shower in the wall eventually. So I haven't got that because you know, got to clean off that salty water. And then you get in your hot tub. Love how this turned out. That's what I love about the um, ESO housing. And this is just a little room I've got closed off. I'm going to change how that works. <clears throat> but this is why I love the housing. You can build, you know, whatever you want. It's just a, um, a way of, it's just a canvas. It's very creative. Um, I really enjoy spending the time figuring it out, seeing what other people have done. So we're going to come upstairs. Now this part I was really inspired by Hemlock N7 of Divine, Deli Divine Deli Design Alliance. Or it might be in Housing Finest Builders. I can't remember which one. Um, his Lothorian Woods view. I, uh, I wanted to um, take a screenshot here. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I wanted to see what I could cre recreate um, of what they did. So you got an outdoor place that you might, you know, have your food up here, a little formal. I'll probably take this part down. Again, I was inspired, so I wanted to see what I could recreate of their their view. Come up here, I'll... I'm going to come in from this side. Grand Sajic Villa is so big um, that it's hard to... You can't really see mine as well as, as, well as theirs. But Grand Sajic Villa is just really big. It's really hard to fill. Uh, there's, um, you only have seven earner slots. It's one of the problems that you'll hear people talking about with housing that they don't ever have enough slots, which is true. I think it also makes you, you know, be judicious on what you choose. Make sure there's a reason. I mean, goodness gracious, that's a pretty view. This is a little outdoor or a, a tree house. It's really hard to get the tree in the right place that the orchid gazebo would sit correctly. I love these orchid gazebos. I need a few more. <laughs> Come out here, you know, you can, it's right on the edge here, um, there we go, there you go, great view, then I, um, so I'll probably take part of this down, like I said, this is a work in progress. Uh, I just, I really wanted to see what I could replicate of their great build, too. So you come over here, and I've got the house blocked off. I'll, again, I'll take a video of it empty. I made this little, I really wanted to keep this. Um, these uh, housing slots are precious, though, but I really love this little outdoor. Uh, again, I like secret spaces. So um, when you do my stuff, I'm usually going to have a, a secret space um, somewhere, secret space or two, there, you can kind of see, a little hot tub, anyways, uh, so this is my Grand Sigic Villa, 
in process. I'm going to, I think I'm going to tear part of it apart. Oh, I forgot. I do have another section. What am I thinking? Let's go take a look at it here. Uh, there's so many spots you can work with. Um, I've got like this one. It's this great overlook. So you can see. And then you go across here and um, I have my most awesome Debella statue. I mean, there she is. She's just beautiful. How could you not love the goddess of love there? Bella, and then I've got a little secret garden over here, again, because I love secret spaces, and I want to use all the things that maybe people are like, oh, what they do there? So this is just a little secret garden. So there you go. This is my, I'm going to turn around and take a screenshot, because that's just awesome. This is my grand Sidgic Villa. I uh, will video more when I get the effects up and, and uh, do some of the rebuild, like I said, but I wanted to take a view of the way it looks now, um, and I will uh, add some more uh, um, effects, and I'm going to kind of alter some of the housing. I want to use a little more of the of the space, but I'll keep some of this. Again, I was experimenting with things like, you know, in the in the bottom of the, or what I'm using to obscure all this stone right now. I have hedges um, sunk down into it, um, so so that uh, you know it looks like grass. I'll show you if you if you want to see. Um, you know, you can take your hedge. Oh goodness, let's try that again. You can take your hedges, see like this, and sink them down. I mean, they cost item parts, so you know you decide uh, how important it is. <clears throat> but I really like the look of it. Kind of makes it look like grass, and you can you can fill it in. So, anyways, bring you bring you tips as I learn them. Hope you uh, have enjoyed the tour of my Grand Sidgic Villa. Make sure you like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitch or here. Uh, I also have a Facebook page where I'm sharing screenshots and so forth as I figure out how to um, really uh, showcase the housing that I do and the housing that I see others do. Have a great day and happy housing. Talk to you all soon.